hello everyone hope you're doing well i'm indu and thank you for watching my videos today i am doing a video of my another monstera apart from my deliciosa i got this uh, monstera dubia which uh, is around one and a half years old as most of the dubia they come in a wooden plank and it came in a wooden plank as well so it grew nicely and went out of the plank so i put a moss board behind it and it was growing well and um, i thought i'll plant it in a different pot because i didn't like the plastic pot that it came in so i chose this um outdoor just regular outdoor pot with the drainage hole uh, with the saucer yeah when i was repotting i accidentally broke the whole dubia uh, into two parts um it was so fragile i didn't even notice that it just snapped uh, so i was devastated actually <laughs> So I kept the top part and um, tried to reroot and put the planted in this pot and you can see the leaves are not good because it didn't have any roots so it took really good few months to establish later on it established well it it did have few ups and downs so I broke i <laughs> broke here and there you can see there's like half leaves um I, when i was moving i broke them but um it survived and it's growing well um recently it grew out of the pole so i added another pole in here by the way i made this pole by myself as well there's a um, there's um, moss inside the mess and uh, the out part is a basket liner that you put in a basket, basket outside. Um, yeah, and there's one um, there's one met metal like I don't know, I can't I don't think I can show you but yeah there's one metal stick type thing in there in between the moss and it's growing well i don't miss my um pole uh, but i think for this monster it's, it's no problem the roots are attached by itself i use velcro tape though and i use it like um inside out because i don't like this this part touching my plants i use the soft part uh, for plant mm. and you can see there's lots of roots now mm, i think i need to chop and prop because it's going so big it's nearly touching my ceiling so there's no room for it to grow more and as you can see there's a oak leaf and it's not fenestrated it's um a um that leaf was eaten by a slug yeah i didn't know there was a baby slug in my plant and then it went up and ate the newly opening leaf so yeah made the fenestrated <laughs> and um yeah i found it later so i threw it in the garden outside yeah that's my dubia and i have a peru here um this peru um it grew a lot so i chopped several times it's still growing 
and um, I put the peace lily in there just to cover the pot because it's bare on the bottom and this one is Drapeturfia um, also known as Minima monster um, up there is uh, Hoya Polyneva also known as Fistel or Mermaid Hoya it hasn't flower but it has got peduncles but I don't know every time it just falls down so I don't know what's the good way to treat them to make them flower if you have any idea please share and there's um, Hoya Linearis um, it hasn't flowered but it's going longer let's see if it will flower this year though i have to wait another year and this hanger these hangers are made by my friend facebook friend louise if you're watching thank you for the hangers it's really pretty um i've got pear like everything in pear and see it looks so beautiful a lot of hard work in there i do make hangers by myself but um just the you know regular one just the normal ones but uh, these are really pretty i love them i didn't have any chance to show but uh, this time yeah, I got chance. <laughs> That's my Monstera Dubia. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, if you're liking my video, please um, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in different, in another video. Thank you.